Hello, this is Stephen Nesheba, and I'm here to help you out with the Visualizing Thermodynamic Surfaces CGI. So when you get into the Jupiter, Jupiter Hub, this is what you'll be looking at. There's the ideal gas law, and uh, there's the Van der Waals e equation, and there's the expression for the percent error. So those are the equations 1, 2, 3 that you are to uh, copy into your uh, uh, comp book. Also, units for energy, pressure, temperature, and volume in the liter atmosphere. Unit system, the energy is liter atmospheres, pressures atmospheres, temperatures Kelvin, volume is liters. Let's see, the uh, gas constant has a value of 0 0.082 in the system. And the values of the Van der Waals parameters A and B, well, uh, you need to go to the uh, Wikipedia site or somewhere else for that. And I've looked those up for, uh, for argon, and I've done the conversion for argon. Uh, which says that uh, uh, A will be equal to uh, 1.338. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, modify this cell here. So that's 1.338. And uh, B was 0 0.032. And uh, that's in that uh, unit system for argon. And, uh, but let's see, before I do that, I should execute this, this first cell, which is a shift enter, enter. Okay, and now I'm going on to this one. Let's see, uh, R is 0 0.082, but remember in our instructions here, I wanted a temperature of 300 and a volume of, of 25, so I'm going to change those parameters accordingly. Let's see, I've got one mole. Everything else looks pretty good here, so I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And uh, one way to be sure that uh, we've got everything right is that the ideal gas came out to be pretty close to one atmosphere. All right, now I'm going to generate a range of volumes. And you can see that Lin space is going to give me 5 to 40 liters, but the instruction said go from 10 to 40. So I'll change that to 10 and uh, execute that one. And I can see, oh, it started at 10, ended up at 40. Everything is good there. Let's see, you get the pressure of an ideal gas, and I think um, I don't have to do anything new here. I'm just good to go, and uh, so that generates that graph. That's kind of nice. This is a boil isotherm, of course, pressure on this axis and volume on that axis. And let's see, and uh, um, well, if I were doing this for real, I would need to do a, a boil isotherm or of a Van der Waals gas and get the error, but I want to go on and make sure I get to the, um, the grids, so I'm going to do this. Let's see, the uh, instructions also said to go from 250 to 350, so I'm going to change that. And uh, let's see, uh, oh, the volumes again from 10 to 40. So I'll go ahead and do that. That looks pretty good. Now I'll calculate the graph and plot the thermodynamic surface. And uh, that's what we get. And the other thing I just want to show you is that if you click on the surface and uh, hold down the, the uh, mouse button, you can rotate it uh, around. And uh, that's, that's the basic idea.